simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Management, FRM. Part one of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management, and the theories that underlie their use. Operational Risk. Welcome to the 52nd session in your preparation for FRM Part One exam. We will begin with a new session today on operational risk. We have already learned a lot about financial risk, but operational risk is the risk of business operations failing due to human error. We will go through the concept of operational risk in detail and analyze its outcomes. Let us start this session. Agenda. We will begin with the introduction of the concept of operational risk, and then learn the operational risk capital requirements for risk assessment. And management technologies. We will go through various approaches and operational risk categories, and also understand the severity of loss suffered due to such risks. We will go through different controlling techniques and indicators to measure and manage operational risk. Operational risk. Operational risk is the risk that is not inherent in financial, systematic. Or market-wide risk, it is the risk remaining after determining financing and systematic risk, and includes risks resulting from breakdowns in internal procedures, people, and systems. It changes from industry to industry. Industries with lower human interaction are likely to have lower operational risk. It is an important consideration to make when looking at potential investment decisions. The Basel Committee has proposed three approaches for determining the operational risk capital requirement. That is, the amount of capital needed to protect against the possibility of operational risk losses. The first approach is the basic indicator approach, where the operational risk is based on 15% of the bank's annual gross income over a three-year period. The second approach is the standardized approach. Wherein the bank uses eight business lines with different beta factors to calculate the capital charge. With this approach, the beta factor of each business line is multiplied by the annual gross income amount over a three-year period. The third approach is the advanced measurement approach. We'll be discussing this approach in the next slide. 